Hello and welcome. Uh, we're going to experiment with AI again, uh, but this time something slightly different because last night I spent two hours trying to do something with Final Cut Pro um, and possibly motion and AI and it didn't work. I got really close, but it didn't work. Um, now, I think there's things I can do with AI to possibly make that work, one of them being create a huge dummy project and have that as a reference. What I think what I was trying to do is I was trying to get um, Claude to build something and he was guessing at what it was building. And even though I kept prompting it over and over again, it didn't work. And then this morning I tried to do something else. I tried to do something with XML that was suggested by uh, one of my good friends who I spoke to on the phone and um, also somebody in the comments. And I got really close, but it didn't work. So after about four or five attempts, uh, I gave up. So I decided to do something completely different. And I did this, which is I built a Final Cut Pro keyboard shortcuts website. And I did the whole lot in under an hour. That's including designing it, coding it, everything and getting it uploaded to the website and um, the even the DNS pointing to the um, URL, everything worked in under about an hour, which I find incredible. So this is my first go. I asked Claude to build it. And if you can see on the right hand side, we've got the preview window. If I go blade, you know, it goes B or command B, which is okay. Um, and if we go color, uh, well, you can see it had match. It started to um, miss stuff out. That's not the entire list of keyboard shortcuts. So if we go down, um, you know, it's going all the way down. Um, what I would say is, let's have a look at this. Yeah, I was saying, well, put it into categories. And I thought, well, you're not going to do that, are you? You're really not going to do that. And then I ended up with this, which. Um, is not the final one, but as you can see, color, and that looks pretty ugly, doesn't it? I mean, keep entering the prompts to rebuild it. It, it sometimes it just doesn't stick with what you've got. It has to add stuff. Uh, you know, we don't want the advanced, and we you know we want something a bit better than this. So um, as you can see, enhance from mode, but that kind of like you know just threw up a complete wobbly, and then it went dark for some reason. Yes, and it, that wouldn't work. I keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then we end up with this one. I go blade. Can't even see the um, things, as you can see. Kept going, kept going, kept going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And this is the one I ended up with, I'm pretty sure. Um, don't need the categories to appear in the answers. So, yeah, no, that's not the one. Let's try that one. Blade. Yep. So this is the one I ended up with. So all that prompting, I know, took about half an hour to get that all in. Um, let's just check. I've got a police car going past. Yep. So there we have all the Final Cut Pro keyboard shortcuts. Now, that's written, if you look at the code, it's written in HTML. It's got a bit of CSS in there for the styling and also the JavaScript that allows everything to expand and results of the search, etc. So what you do is you completely copy all that code and dunk it onto a onto um, a hosting account and attach a domain. So we've got finalcutassistant.com and if you can have a look at this, I may as well put that in the center. Go blade. Yeah, multicam. Great multicam angle. Yep, shows you how to do that. Um, export. Yep, shows you how to export. Hopefully, that's all the um, shortcuts in Final Cut Pro uh, on in in a, in a in a web browser. And you can go to FinalCutAssistant.com and, and look at it and play around with it, um, see if it helps. I also asked uh, Claude to make it mobile friendly, and it does work on mobiles really well as well. Now, one downside of it is that it's all happening on the client side in my browser, the JavaScript. So it's not particularly good for SEO. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is this is a first step. I'm trying to take 
all of that and convert it into uh, another website using Next.js and server-side rendering so that um, Google sees each of the pages as a page um, and then that's good for SEO. I mean, this works and this works well, but it's never going to show up in a search. So that's my next goal. But um, I thought I, want, I wanted to share something with you because I'm pretty sure you don't want to see me hours of kind of like building XML and trying to get the thing to work. It will eventually work and I'll work out how to do it. Um, but just to show you, I've been busy. Um, and also we've got possibly uh, the new Final Cut Pro coming any day now. Is it going to be 10.9 or 8 or whatever? Or is it going to be 11? Who knows? Um, but what I didn't want to do is duplicate the output from that. I mean, I don't know what's in the new Final Cut Pro. It might have collapse multicam. It might have quite a few other things, you know, round tripping with motion, maybe. No, I don't think it's going to have that. So um, I didn't want to duplicate um, what you could do. And maybe Apple Intelligence helps with Final Cut Pro. Who knows? I don't. So there you go. I made you a little present, finalcutassistant.com. I'll put the link as the first thing in the description below. You can click on that, have a play around with it. You might find it helpful. You might find it not helpful, but that just goes to show the power of AI and what you can do in under an hour, which for me is pretty incredible. Okay, hopefully I'll see you on the next one and I might have some more updates about what you can do with AI and Final Cut and the other pro apps. Loads more to come. Um, if you could do a like and subscribe, then that'd be great. Thank you. Bye-bye.